life cycle of a trout. The Belfast Hills make up the summits in the west and north of Belfast City and include the iconic Cave Hill and Divis Mountain, as well as the less well-known sites such as Slave Nacloy and Lake O'Neill Dams. These hills have numerous small streams which flow through the countryside, then the city down to the River Lagan. The Lagan in turn flows into the Belfast Harbour and Loch. These upland streams provide a perfect habitat for the brown trout to live and grow. The brown trout only thrives in unpolluted rivers with lots of oxygen. Trout feed on small fish and aquatic invertebrates which crawl at the bottom of the rivers and will often try to hide from the trout. Sometimes trout will also feed on flying insects such as butterflies and dragonflies. During the late autumn to winter season, when it's cold and there's plenty of oxygen in the water, trout lay their eggs in the river gravel. The female builds a nest called a red by pushing the gravel, creating a hole and dropping their eggs into the nest. The male fish will release his milt over the eggs to fertilise them. The female then moves over and throws up the gravel to cover the fertilised eggs to keep them safe. These eggs will take about two months to fully develop. The newly hatched trout are called alvins and live in the gravel feeding off the remaining yolk sac that is attached to their body. When these alvin become fry, they emerge from the gravel and move towards the light. One of the biggest problems facing trout in the Belfast Hills comes from pollution, released into the rivers both by businesses and domestic houses. Industrial waste from factories and sewage, or other dirty water from local houses or businesses, can sometimes leak into waterways, where it will come through the storm drains and end up polluting the rivers in which the trout live. When trout come into contact with pollution, it can kill them. Something as simple as a drink carton can cause damage and pollution which endangers trout and other river creatures. The good news is that the Belfast rivers are teeming with a healthy river life. Let's keep it that way.